it's Highland Schleich and in today's video I'm going to be doing a spring barn tour for April 2022. This is probably this is gonna be my first barn tour on my channel so I hope you guys enjoy and yeah let's just get started. So we're just gonna start over here. Over here we have uh, our truck and trailer and our little driveway um, at the entrance of the stable with a few trees and then this is the big front gate that I made with two statues of unicorns outside. And then here we have our sign and it says, Welcome to Mary Hill Stables, which is the name of my stable. I'm not sure why this is here, but <laughs> yeah. And then over here, this is our giant outdoor arena. So right here is the entrance. This is our little gate. Um, and I got this gate uh, for Christmas last year. Uh, it was just that little paddock set, so I thought it'd be perfect to put it on the arena. And then out front, we just have some flowers, some flower boxes, and two plants on each side. And then right here on the fence, we just have some rope. And then inside, we have a stack of cones. And then over here inside the arena, here, this is Sarah. And she is riding uh, one of our Hanoverians mares named Col um named Charlotte, and they are just going through this little combination. Uh, this is this, I really like this combination. This is just a combination with Cabalettis, really teaches them how to get their hooves up off the ground better than poles. And then over here is just a jump that I made. And then out here on the fence, we have Stephanie, and I think I named this girl Mia. I don't, I don't remember or may use Emma, I don't remember what I named her. And then here we have uh, Petunia and she's a little bird. She's just sitting here on the fence and they're all, all three of them are watching the action in the arena. And then right here we have Emma and she is one of our golden, uh, she's one of our dogs here at the stables. She's a golden retriever. So back here we have a little paddock and in the paddock we have Larry and he is a llama. And then there we have Ronnie and he is my Highland Bull. And outside we have a tree. And then over here, this is Abby and she's gonna give these two their food. And they're pretty excited about that. They're coming over to the fence. So yes, and then back there we just have a little wheelbarrow with some manure in it. So we'll come back around. This is the, we have the front of the barn. And there's a bunch of things going on, but we'll start over here. So over here, we have a custom horse that I made in a little video a while ago. I don't, I haven't named him yet, but he is a custom on the Tennessee Walker Stallion. And then right here, we have Brenda and she's just gonna give him a bath because he has a show in a couple days and just like to keep him clean. And then right here, we have a little mushroom on top of the wash stall. And we have a cute little gnome with a mushroom umbrella, I believe, and just a random Easter egg. And then back here, we just have some flowers on the barn, a grooming box, a Schleich grooming kit, and a grooming kit that I made with a bunch of homemade brushes, a little Schleich rubber ducky, and a, a little plant behind the door. And for some reason, there's a giant golden egg right there. I'm not really sure why that's right there. But yeah, so that's the wash doll. And then right here, we have Zoe, and she is riding her mare, Misty, and she's an Andalusian. She's the Schleich Andalusian. Came with Sophia and Blossom set, but I really need your Misty. And they're just, they're gonna go over and see what's going on in the arena, and then they're probably gonna go on a trail ride. So yeah. And then right here over top of the, the doors, this is our sign, it says Mary Hill Stables. And then right here, we just have a little banner that's made out of fun spring colored tassels. And I think it looks really cute. And then right here, we have a little bird's nest with one of my many little birds and a blue Easter egg in there. And then on top of the barn, we have our two farm roosters. So I don't think I named them. I'm really sorry if I keep forgetting names, but if you guys have any like rooster name suggestions, for some reason I keep thinking of the name Rudy, but that is not what I named him. That is someone else's name and I did not want to use it. 
But yeah, we'll just uh, carefully oh, take these guys off so we can move inside the barn. So now that we're inside the barn, I'm gonna show you, we have, I have some uh, LED lights that I put in here to light everything up. So we're just gonna start in this stall. This is Greendale and he is my Fjord Stallion. I absolutely love him. And then over here we have Midnight and he is my Frisian Stallion. And they're just stalled next to each other. And out front of their stall, we have another one of my cats. I think I named her Missy. And then uh, we have a little dog bowl or cat bowl just right here. And then over on this side, we just have a broom. And then in this front stall on this side, we have Tundra and she is my lip is on her mare. She is so gorgeous, <laughs> but everybody doesn't really, um, a lot of the horses don't like her cause she is very mean. She's a pretty mean horse, but I don't know. And then in the stall next to her, we have Cleo or Cleopatra and she is the retired Nads Dropper mare. These are all kind of retired, I guess. Um, but yeah, she's just sitting here in her stall and each, every stall has a treat lick, although I'm not sure why this one is hanging on this side. But yeah, each stall has a treat lick, uh, some food, some apples in a watering trough. And they also have a, uh, a homemade hay net that I made a little while ago. Each stall has a hay net. So yeah. And then back here behind the barn in the back, we have all of our food. So this is our haystack. Then we have some grain buckets that kind of just fell over. And then we have red apples, green apples, and carrots, just all kind of organized. And then on this side, we have just a tack box. And inside, um, just a little paper box. Inside we have some accessories like uh, homemade jump boots that I made, little accessories for the carriage set, and a bunch of other things. Easy to get to. And then right here we have a customized saddle that I made. This is based off of that little like brown saddle that you can get with the barn. But I had two, so I painted both of them a different color. I think it looks very nice. It kind of reminds me of a dressage saddle now. So yeah, but it's just on the saddle rack. And yeah, that's the back of the barn. That is the barn. Then over on this side, we have a little sign that says caution horses. And then right here on the path, this, uh, I don't believe I named this rat yet, but I was thinking of naming him Ratatouille because you know, why not? It's a cute name, but he's just running around and hoping he doesn't get caught by the barn cat. And then right here we have Penny, I believe that's what I named her. And she is a, just a chicken. And then back here, we have another one of those little plants. We have another gnome and another Easter egg. And then right here, we have just two pitchforks leaning against the fence and a little metal container with some Easter, uh, some bunny ears that I made for the horses and some more Easter eggs. And I made all of these eggs that we find out of clay. And then right here by the fence, we have another mushroom and this little bird was supposed to be on the fence, but fell off, so. Yeah, I, oh gosh, I'm knocking everything over, but I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, he does not have a name. And then here, right there, we have Ginger and she, or Ginger Snap, and she's a little kitten. And then here we have Snowball and he is a little baby bunny and they're just playing and probably gonna go into the barn cause it's a little warm. And then right here we have um, Elizabeth and she has a little pink halter and she is trying to persuade uh, my Sh our Shetland Pony mare, Cookie, into uh, coming over to her so she can grab her with a halter and take her back to where she's supposed to be because she got out, she's ornery. But yeah, this is Cookie and she is the Shetland Pony mare. I absolutely love this model. She's such an icon and I, um, she's been in a few videos. So if you guys haven't seen, check them out, like that rain news video. But yeah, so that's Cookie. And then over here we have, uh, I don't, I don't remember what I named my cat actually. <laughs> That's a little, sorry if I forget any names, but yeah, this is just a little barn cat and I sadly don't remember what I named her, but she's just sitting over here and she's watching the action over here. 
probably gonna eat either this bird or that rat, or she's probably thinking about it, but let's hope that doesn't happen. And behind her is just a random bird again. Um, let's just set him back on the fence. Okay, I'm sorry, everything's falling. <laughs> and um, anyways, there's a little stump right here. And right outside the barn in the mare's pasture, this is Clancy and she is my uh, Schleich goose. And she's just sitting here. She was talking to Cleo through her little door. And now we're just gonna move out here into the mare's pasture. So right here in the middle, we have Maple and she is my fjord mare. She's super cute. She's wearing a little fly mask that I made a little while ago. And then back here we have Esther and she is my retired Hanoverian mare, one of my other Hanoverian mares. And yeah, those are the only two horses that are out here right now because both Tundra and Cleo can come out if they want to. We'll just go ahead and open up the doors. Yes. And then right here we just have a little homemade water trough that I made. And then I made this little hook to hook halters onto so they could hold the halters for the horses in the pasture. And yeah, so that's the mare's pasture. And over here, this is the stallion's pasture and it's pretty much just exactly the same as the mare's pasture. They have a watering trough and they have a, a little um, halter thing, a halter hook thing, but it didn't, it broke so I can't put on the fence but we'll just move in. So right here we have Hurricane and he is my gorgeous, gorgeous Pinto Stallion. I absolutely love this model. And then back here in the back, we have uh, Luke and, or uh, Luke Skywalker. And he is my special, uh, special edition, I believe, tr um, Tennessee Walker Stallion, the special paint. And then over here, running with the wind, we have one of my new additions to the stable. This is Hidalgo, and he is the Soraria Mustang Stallion. Soraria, Soraria Mustang Stallion. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm not saying that correctly, but um, it's a special Mustang Stallion. So yeah, he's just running over here to join Hurricane, running around. And then back here, we have my, one of my Hanoverian geldings. This is Rebel and he is my Red Dun Hanoverian gelding. I love him so much, he's super pretty. And so those are the pastures and each pasture also has a few trees in the back just to kind of add some texture. And then right out front of the pastures, there's a little thing going on. So right here we have Emma and she is driving her little carriage pulled by Lily. She is the Connemara pony mare. It looks so dolled up. They're just gonna, oh, they have their little picnic basket and her dog Popcorn. And she, they're gonna draw, uh, ride over into the woods to have a picnic. And following her, we have Cassie and she is riding Fiona, my Pinto mare. They're just tagging along with these t uh, these three and they're gonna go and have a little picnic. And then moving on over here, we have my little like woods area. So in here, we just have some mushrooms and a little path and just some a bunch of trees. And then right here, this is Raven and he is my wild, uh, my rearing black Mustang stallion. He is my absolute, one of my absolute favorite Schleich horses. I'm so, so blessed to have him. I love him so much. Ooh, hold on there. Oh boy. And then back here, we have two of my, uh, two of our deer. This is uh, Buckaroo and he is the male deer, like the uh, deer, the buck. And then here, I don't believe I named the doe but she is Buckaroo's, oh, this is Sally, sorry. This is Buckaroo's sister and they're just kind of chilling. And uh, both of these deer are named after two, uh, two baby deer that I, that were in, they lived in my backyard a few years ago in real life. So Buckaroo and Sally. And then over here, one of my favorite pieces of my barn, 
This is my little fountain slash pond, my little waterfall. Um, so I made this last year out of hot glue and rocks and I'm super proud of it. I love how it looks and how, how pretty it looks. So I'm always glad that I get to use this in my barn. I think it's perfect. Yeah, and then right in between, uh, right in the middle of everything, there is a big um, path just leading out into the distance with a big pine tree and a little homemade tree that I made out of sticks. So yeah, that is that. And that concludes our, um, this table. And I thought I'd just go ahead and show you guys, this is um, my big cardboard and popsicle stick barn. Now it's not really set up at the moment. There are no horses inside, but this is like my big show barn, I guess. I've not been using it for a little while. But yeah, each stall has a little hay net. And then there's the wash stall. That was actually my original tack room, but then I changed it. And out here we have our big tack room, which is kind of a mess. I, I shouldn't be showing you guys this right now, but I just thought I would mention it. Um, sorry about all this. But yeah, we just have saddle racks and a shelf for trophies and helmets and all those little hooks are for bridles, which are all over the place. I'm so sorry about this. This is a little embarrassing, but... And then over here, we just have a little horse statue and a toolbox and a flashlight and then a little cat bed and a bunch of saddle pads and treats on the floor and some little ribbons and a little lesson chart on there on the wall, if you could see it. Yeah, and then out here, we just have a little horse sign, the, a horseshoe on the big door, a sign that says tack room and a little horse poster. And then right here is the little uh, border barn to this, to the big barn. This is supposed to be my, supposed to be my little set of pony stalls. So they're pretty small, but these are for all my little like Shetlands and small ponies, but everything currently empty right now because I just didn't want to worry about that. But yeah, and then over here we have my little, this is the little riding cafe. It's just set up here for right now because I thought it would be a okay place to put it. I didn't want to put it on the floor. It, this is not where it's supposed to be because this is the entrance to the barn. And But for right now, this is it. And then there we have Tom and he's just getting some sweet tea ready. And then we just have some cola and some tables and chairs. And this is Victoria or Vicky and she is having some sweet tea out here. Sorry, the lighting's a little bad, but and then right here, we just have a little campfire. Maybe roast marshmallows at when you're at the little cafe. But yeah, that's it for this table as well. All right, everyone. So that brings us to the end of my very first barn tour of Mary Hill Stables. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that you guys like my setup of my stable. I'm very proud of it. And I think all my horses enjoy their home. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!